Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Ariel, and today we're going to be showing you how to integrate Facebook event tracking with Google Tag Manager. If, you, if you're having trouble trying to get conversions, the reason is that you're not passing these important events back into Facebook, and these events allows the Facebook algorithm to find the right audience that are interested in your service or what product you're doing. So let's go ahead, for example, here, and I want to show you. Um, I'll show you a good example. So I'm, I I am running a, um, a debt relief. Oh uh, no, I'm running an auto insurance offer. So here's what it looks like. Oops, let me go ahead and change that up. So I'm gonna go ahead, and I'm gonna go ahead and click on my um, the ad that I'm running with. So this is the auto chat bat lander. So right now we have a lander here, a simple lander here. And we want to track all the events are being that are being passed. So you, you click on yes. We go ahead and click on. We go ahead and click yes as usual. And then we also want to track it if they click on the phone button here. So now here's what we're gonna do. Um, the prerequisites I recommend you get the following. The first one is called the MetaPixel Helper, and what this does is a check if your Facebook Pixel is is currently active right now. The second one you need is the copy CSS selector. This allows you to like, if you want, if you were to go deep, this allows us to like select deep in, within the funnel. Um, the third one we're gonna need is tag assistant companion. So this is basically uh, a plugin by Google for Google Tag Manager. If you wanna debug um, your page and making sure all the events are being tracked back perfectly. So now let's go ahead and go, go, and go to Google Tag Manager and the first thing that you want to do is you create, you're going to create the container. You're going to make your company name. Um, and then you, on, the, on the top right, you're going to click on the three dots. You're going to click on Create Container. Now from here, you're going to put in your website here. So let me go ahead and put in my website. And then, I'll, and then for Target Platform, you're going to click on where it says Web. Click Create. Now once you create the container, you're going to install the Google Tag Manager. On It says paste the code as high in the head. And then paste the code immediately after the body, uh, after opening the body. So this is just an example. Let me show you what I mean by that. So for here, for me, I'm gonna go to, um, I'm gonna go to my container. I'll click on admin, and then click on install Google Tag Manager. From here, I'm gonna be putting in paste the code as high in the head. So I'm gonna go to my landing page, and then I'm gonna edit it. Uh, from here, I'm going to click on where it says code editor. So whichever code editor you're using, I'm going to copy the head, the code. I'll click here to copy. And then from here, I'll go to the head and I'm going to paste in my code here. Now I'm going to do the same thing. Paste the code immediately after the opening body. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go here to the edit the code. And I'm going to do either command F or control F, meaning that you're searching within the code. You're going to type in the word uh, less than sign, type in body, click search and enter. So you're going to see it says body, sometimes it says class. This is where you're going to put in your second code in here. And then go ahead and click apply changes. After that, click save. And then you're all set from there. You successfully installed Google Tag Manager. Amazing. So now the next step I would like you to do is that we're going to install the Facebook Pixel and uh, on there. So now over here, let me let's navigate around to um, Google Tag Manager. So over here, you have what's called tags. Think of these as your third-party pixels that you can implement within uh, in here. So you can see I have like Red Track, Post Hog, Ringba, Yandex, Microsoft Clarity on there, and Facebook Pixel. Um, over here in Triggerings, Triggerings is what you want to trigger if the if the user did the following. And there's multiple triggers that you can use. You can do everything from like clicking on a button or if they scroll down like 50% of the way there. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and click on tags. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on new. I'm going to click on tag configuration. And then I'm going to click on discover more tags in the Facebook community gallery. Now uh, from there, I'm going to click on the search and I'm, I'm going to type in Facebook. And you can see there's a Facebook pixel right here. Click choose template. And this is where you can start adding your you can start adding your Facebook Pixel ID in here. So I'm gonna go ahead to my business ad manager, go to settings, and then you're going to see your data set ID. You're gonna copy it, you're gonna paste it right here, 
and then um, if you want to do for global, you're going to do page view and then triggering, you're going to do all pages and then just, and then you can just save it as Facebook pixel like that. I already did mine, for example, so I'm not going to do it again. Now the next part is before we get started, we want to go to variables. Um, and then from there, we want to click on configure. Now make sure you want to make sure you have all these clicks set up. Um, all these click box check set up and there's a reason why it's because that we're, we're going to be configuring event tracking on there so let's go ahead and submit it and once you have that click go ahead and submit and now we can, you can get started to it now the next step that you want to do is you're going to go to your landing page here so I'm going to go to my landing page here I'm going to click on uh, auto auto legion uh, auto chatbot and from there I'm going to click on um, the Google Google Chrome extension tag assistant companion. Uh, from here, I'm gonna click on. You gonna you want to double check to make sure your tag your tag manager is installed. You can see it by where it says Google Tags Found. You'll see GTM, and then you can see your code here. It means that Google Tag Manager is successfully installed. You're gonna go ahead and click on troubleshoot tag, and from there, it's gonna start popping up the debugger. Now the, the, the debugger analyzes everything what's happening to your page from the beginning to the end so you can see right off the bat all my tag all my triggers all my tags that I made have been triggered right off the bat um, so now over here you can see your tag assistant is connected you're going to leave it like this and then we're going to go ahead and click on buttons we're going to click on the first yes and if you go back here you can see there's there's actually a click and you can see if you click on variable you can see there's a chat button click here and you can see the text that says yes we can actually configure this to be as um, button. Uh, we can do, uh, are you currently connect insured? Click yes. If I go tag to tag assistant, you can see that's a yes right here. Now, the last one is phone button click. If I click on the phone button here, click cancel, you can see that there is, you can see that there is a phone button click right here. So now the next step, this is the phone button. So now we have the click ID. So now the next step is we're going to be configuring um, the Facebook. Uh, pixel on there. So we're going to go into Google Tag Manager. We're going to click on Tags. By the way, don't remove this. You want to keep this. You already got your data since set. We're going to go to Triggers. We're going to create one for phone button click. So go ahead and create a trigger for click all elements. This fire triggers on some clicks. We're going to set the click ID to the phone link, which is this one. We're going to click. We're going to highlight this. We're going to paste it like this. And then after that, click save. Um, it's also a good idea if you want to track in the click from these two. So I'm going to do the first yes. I'm going to go to the first yes here. I'll click this. This one's the first yes. I'm going to go ahead and click on that one. Uh, let me double check. Yeah, this is it. First yes. I'm going to copy the click ID. And I'm going to go ahead and go to triggers, click new. And then I'm going to click on all elements. Some clicks, I'm going to do click ID. Let me double check. Click ID. I'm going to paste it. I'm going to call it auto chat bot lander. First, yes. Click save. And then let me do the second one. So the second one actually came in right here, which is another, which is another yes. So we're going to set it up, set it up as a second yes. So we're going to put the second yes in here. We're going to go to Google Tag Manager. Triggers, auto chatbot, lander, second yes. Tag configuration, we're going to set this up as all elements. Some clicks, we're going to set the click ID to contain this. And then click save. Um, and then last but not least, you have the chatbot lander. So same thing, you're going to take, you're going to go to the events. You're going to see the phone number here. You're going to copy the click ID and then you're going to paste it in there. So once you're done with that, click submit. And now the next part of the process is we need to we need to assign these triggers to the event to the events. So Facebook has a lot of events. So first one I want to show you is the phone button click. So I can show you an example here. You're gonna set up Facebook, put the pic, you're gonna paste in the pixel right over here, and then you're gonna set the stand you set the event name to standard, and you're gonna put it as contact. Okay? So that's what you're gonna set it up as. Um, the second one, you're going to put it in. Um, 
you had so the second one let me go ahead and set up new tag configuration I can set up uh, Facebook trigger I'll do uh, Facebook pixel click choose template and then I'll put I'll copy the event uh, event um, pixel ID here the second one I want to do is where it says um, where it says subscribe. So usually how I like to follow this, there's a little bit of a guide. The first yes is usually the, um, the first yes is usually subscribe. The second yes is initial, um, the second yes is usually, um, where is the second yes? Usually initially check out a content. Actually, I'm just going to focus on the, on the second one, which is, um, subscribe here. So I'm going to put in, um, uh, FE, uh, uh, FE subscribe, second button, yes. I'm going to put it as subscribe here, and then I'm going to set up the triggering to the second yes, and I click save, and I click go ahead and click submit and click publish. So now let's go ahead and double check everything. So once everything is published, then we're going to go back to your chatbot lander or the landing page that you have, and we're going to, to, do, to check everything. So you're going to see your Facebook Metapixel here. I'm also going to troubleshoot it to make sure everything is working properly. So it's going to refresh everything here. Actually, let me go ahead and close this and retry it. Oops. Let me go ahead and try it again. Um, I'm going to click on the phone I'm going to click on the tag companion. And then click connected. Uh, from there, you can see everything's loading. I'm going to click on the first yes. So, yes. And then you can see that it's happening. I'm going to click on the second yes. And notice that on the Facebook Metapixel, it shows subscribe. And you can see over here, if I go to the latest one, you can see tag fired, FB subscribe, second yes. Now let's go to the last one here. Phone button click. And I can see here, if I do link click here, you can see that the event is passing, and boom, there you go. Facebook Pixel success, success, contact right here. And that's how you set up, and that's pretty much on how to set up um, event tracking with Facebook and Google Tag Manager. If you have any questions, please let me know, and thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.